you could say it was a colorful morning for one mid-state man. After grabbing breakfast under the golden arches, James Snyder. The police officer was right here. He turned, uh, turned on his lights. Found himself in the right place at the right time to help the blue. She burnt out her tires, tried to get away from the cop, but she, could not, she couldn't. So she got out of the car and ran. Laverne police say they spotted a woman wanted on warrants parked near Waldron Road. When police tried to talk to her, she drove off, hitting other cars before a police officer boxed her in. She got out and made a run for it, but she didn't count on James. I was just trying to help out. Because, like, I saw her hit other people. I know, like, I didn't want someone to get away if somebody hit my car. So I was trying to also help the other citizens that were got hit while being in the chase with her. James noticed the officer running after her had slowed down. Police say he injured himself as the woman ran onto the I-24 on-ramp. James said that just wouldn't do. I pulled up right beside him and I rolled down my window and I asked him, do you want to ride? And he said, I hurt my leg. So yes, uh, that would be appreciated. With James behind the wheel, he and the officer gave chase, a short chase with the woman still on foot and James ever mindful of the traffic laws. He got in the car, we, I sped a little bit down the on-ramp, which I know speeding is bad, but we caught up to her before she got into another car and that's how it ended. She just gave up right when we pulled up. The whole ordeal made James a little late to work this morning. Some people didn't believe me at first. Um, my boss didn't believe me at first, but now hopefully she will. As the long arm of the law extended, at least for Monday, to James Snyder and a very thankful officer. I would just say try to help out as much as you can, but don't get in the way of police officers. Just try to be a helping hand. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.